All right. So it's been a little slow trapping here, but uh, we finally got something in a trap over there. This was a blind trail set. I had some deer scraps on that apple tree there and set up some blind sets coming to it. There was a trail and uh, I wasn't sure what the tracks were. I thought maybe a weasel or a mink, but it appears we've got ourselves a skunk. So, well, I'm not sure what we're gonna do here, but we'll go have a closer look and see if we can get them taken care of. All right, guys. It's been a little slow trapping this year. Uh, I really just decided to kind of trap the last two weeks of the season, late February or early February here. And uh, not a great time to be trapping. We got a ton of snow. It's been really cold. Um, I did catch a fox early on. and um, But I was doing the checks in the dark early in the morning, so I didn't film it. And about two days ago, I caught a skunk actually on a blind trail set which was an interesting i got a little bit of footage of that but yesterday i set a blind set on what i thought was a fox den and uh i'll show you guys here we uh we got us a fox fox now you can see we got plenty of snow i've got a nice snowshoe trail here but ooh, i don't know if he's just odd colored or if he's a little bit mangy Oh, I don't know. Or if he's just rubbed. Yeah. I don't know, we'll check that for, it may just be frost on there from being caught in the trap. Anyways, guys, we'll, uh, we'll get him taken care of and uh, get back with you for the rest of the line. All right, guys, so this was the set. I just caught our fox there nice male um he looks to be decently furred at first i was worried that he might have mange or been rubbing on his back end there but it's just a lot of white silvery hairs uh, i do think they are a little bit probably past prime here but uh being february this was the uh the den here and i just had this bridger 165 just bedded in the snow right there. And um, they had a trail going, you can see the trail going up that way and, and around that little apple tree. And uh, just a blind set at the den entrance. And um, it worked well. I've got another den set up in the same way. And it has two entrances. And uh, they, I both have them covered with another 165. This is a, a 1.65 Bridger offset uh and the other one other one's a, a 175 and uh he's, he's got this tore up pretty good here's a little bit of blood from the dispatch and there's the den entrance and he had the trail coming up right there i don't think we're going to reset this um at least not today i might if we get a little bit of fresh snow tonight i might check it in the morning on my way by and see if there's any fresh tracks if it'd be worth resetting i'm not entirely sure here uh, this is the male. So, um, reasons that we're doing this here, it's late February. The first little press prime, um, right there. I don't know if we can see if I zoom in a little bit. There is our barn and you can just see some sheds through the trees there. So we are, oh, 150 yards from the house here. And this was a fox den. Um, we did lose five chickens in one day over this summer. And so uh, I decided to finally get out, do some trapping, and um, try and thin down the fox population as we kind of figured that's what, what did it. So this is the second fox of the year plus a skunk, uh, which was also just caught. The skunk was just up here. I do have a little bit of footage of that. We'll probably go in the same video as this. Uh, but just down my snowshoe trail here, just around that point of brush is where the skunk was caught. So about uh, 50, maybe 60 yards away from here. So um, getting rid of some foxes, getting some practice in trapping, and um, 
because it's something I've always wanted to do, and it, it is a blast. It's like Christmas morning walking up to a trap with a with a critter in it, and uh, you know, fur's not worth a lot, but we're gonna skin them. I've got the other one, um, maybe get tanned. Same with the skunk. So cool, right on. All right, good morning there, guys. It is uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, and uh, the end of our, most of our land trapping here in, in New York State is February 15th this year. So I am, uh, it's pull day for me because I don't want to have to worry about getting a babysitter to do it tomorrow. Um, so we're out checking and, and pulling traps. It's about 7, 7.30 in the morning, just got light. And, uh, oh, if we could see here, I pulled my first trap already, and, uh, it was a Bridger number two dogless, and it was froze, uh, despite being remade, like, I don't know, a week ago, maybe a little more, so, um, you know, this year was, is my first year trapping, and it's definitely been... A learning year <laughs> uh, let's face it I didn't really know what I was doing you know um, there's a lot of great info nowadays on YouTube various Facebook groups that I belong to a um, couple internet forums trapper man um, so anyways it, it's been you know I don't I don't really know anybody here um, so I basically been on my own trying to figure this out and I had about five traps set at a friend's property where they had some coyote trouble and um, he invited me over to give it a try. And that's really what kind of spurred me to even set any traps this year. I wasn't going to. And we didn't get those set until the end of January. So we really only had two weeks here um, to trap. So, uh, I went out and threw some threw some sets in over there and then came back and I'm lucky enough to be able to hunt and trap and recreate on the farm that surrounds my house. And so uh, we lost some chickens this year, five in, in one day to what I believe to be a fox. And uh, so I figured I would give it a try. And there was plenty of sign around. I had them on my trail cameras all through deer season. I actually shot one during deer season. Um, and so I set, I, I had anywhere from about four to seven or eight traps set, I think at the highest. And I pulled a few and, and moved them. Um, but that's, that's what I did. So for the last two weeks, I've been running <laughs> on snowshoes because of course, after we, uh, after we set the traps, after I set the traps, it, we got about a foot of snow. And this is the first year that I can remember in a couple where we've really had any kind of sustained snow cover in the wintertime. So for pretty much the whole month of, uh, of February here, we've had, uh, and you can see behind me, I got uh, my little sled with my tools in it here, and you can see the, the snowshoe trail where I uh, have been running on my snowshoes, and I got it packed down enough, I'm not wearing them today. Um, so yeah, it's pull day and you know, for two weeks of trapping, not knowing what I was doing and uh, um, wave to the trail camera, um, not knowing what I was doing, I think I did pretty well. I caught two fox on my own and one skunk. This over here is the, and the catch circle you can see right in there. Um, the skunk was interesting, especially for a first timer. And I still have them froze hanging in my lean to shed. Uh, I do plan on skinning them, if nothing else, for the practice. Uh, and really, I, you know, I feel like if you can't deal with skunks, see, see some guys will say, I just shoot them and recover the trap and never go back to that spot. Well, that's kind of, I don't know. I don't, that's not how I roll. Let me put it that way. So uh, if I if I trap something and uh, I wasn't going to try and release them live, um, although some people probably can and do, um, I'm going to try and get something out of them. And to be honest, they have really pretty fur. 
So, uh, first here at the pond here, you can see behind me that there, there's a bunch of tracks out there. Maybe, I don't know if you can make it out, but anyways, I'm rambling on here about what went on this year. And I, I the end story is I caught two fox and a skunk in two weeks of trapping with about half a dozen traps, give or take, which I thought for not really knowing what I'm doing is, is not too bad. So I want to just talk about a couple things because um, it was it was a learning year, right? So there was definitely some lessons that I learned um, dealing with snow. You know, this is obviously most people that probably trap are a lot of them are done trapping by now unless you're doing animal damage control or something um, because the snow gets to be too much to contend with and then you got breeding season coming up so it makes things tougher um, so a couple things I pulled I had three traps behind me in this open area where we came through here I had three traps going all along there including one right here that I pulled um, after they got covered in snow, they had been there about a week or a little more and they had seen no activity and I pulled them. And then after I caught the skunk, which was on a, a blind trail set, I saw a trail coming in and, and set two traps on the two different trails and, and caught the skunk. I should have left these three traps because all of them went off when I pulled them. And so they were bedded good. They had antifreeze. Uh, the flake stuff in them. And there was a ton of fox activity like a couple days after I caught the skunk in this little food plot meadow area behind me where I had these three traps. So had I left them, there's a good chance that the fox would have investigated. I might have caught another one. Um, so that's one lesson. Leave your traps. If they're in the ground and they're in a good location, you've had sign at them, even if it's been a week, two weeks, uh, you know, I've read where guys leave them three weeks and, and then finally make a catch on them. So uh, they don't do you any good hanging in the shed. They do you good in the ground where they can catch fur. So I should have left those. That was a big lesson there. Um, Stu on Coon Creek Outdoors, I gave him a shout out because I learned a ton from his channel. Um, one of the things that he actually made a video on is using weather patterns to catch fur. Now I saw this, uh, we had a one day warm up. I forget which day it was about a week ago. Um, where it got up to about 40 degrees during the day and didn't go below freezing at night. Now, for the rest of that time, it's been 20 degrees or below. We haven't really gotten above 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And mostly in the morning when I've been checking my traps, it's been single digits. So it's been cold and that day we warmed up. And what do I see on that day that we warmed up? A ton of raccoon tracks. So I set a couple of dog proofs underneath the old barn on my property um, where there was a bunch of tracks and I missed the weather pattern. I should have had the trap set the day before and been watching the forecast because it got cold again and there was no more raccoon activity. So play those weather, pa weather patterns. That definitely is a factor. Um, what else? Oh leaving the sets alone a little bit more you know i tended to mess around with them we had a lot of snow um i think i was rebating and reluring a little bit too much um and just generally messing around with them once you have a good set that scent stays there the canines have really strong noses they can smell it so i think i overdid it and maybe um maybe uh made some of the foxes or coyotes cautious coming to those sets and not want to work them so be sparing with the bait and lure um that was a big lesson you know and and other than that i i really had a blast this year doing this for two weeks and i'm super excited to uh get a bunch more traps in the ground next year you know i'm going to probably start trapping coons right uh in the end of october when the the season i think opens the 25th of october somewhere around there so um, obviously I'll have to take a break during, uh, gun deer season because I like to hunt deer. Uh, and there's just so many people out and about in the woods during gun season that it's impractical to run traps and then not worry about disturbing guys hunting or having maybe traps stolen, fur stolen, just don't want to deal with it. So wait till after gun season. So 
you know, we'll get a couple weeks at the end of October, maybe early November, depending on how much I want to bow hunt. And, uh, and then start up again in December and hit it hard all the way from the end of December through the end of January um, and get that whole extra month in and, and put some fur up. So anyways, uh, I've been rambling on for a while here and I just wanted to talk a little bit about a couple of the big lessons that I learned trapping this year and uh, what I plan to do differently next year. Um, there'll be a bunch more videos coming. And of course, next year I'll get the whole season out. Um, and video it so it should be good uh, but we'll do some more here in the off season i got a bunch more stuff coming up for the channel i want to do some um reloading and shooting re uh, related videos and time see you